Hey fellas, so uh, I'm going to do a video, or I'm going to do a few videos on uh, the Banshee uh, engine assembly. I'm going to do uh, like a bunch of different separate videos instead of one long video so it's easier to find everything and just label everything appropriately. That way you don't have to scroll through 30 or 40 minutes of video to find how to adjust your shifter or something like that. Your shift adjuster bolt. <coughs> but uh, I'm going to go through how putting the seals on the crank and the transmission uh, first and then from there we'll move on to getting the bottom case up here, putting the ceiling on, where to put it, how much to put on, all that good stuff. So we're going to get started. Alright, so first of all, just wash everything real good with gasoline. Well, that's what I use. I use a big bucket full of gasoline. I can dunk everything in. I can move all the parts around, transmission, you know, gears and roll the bearings, get all the grit and gunk and stuff like that out of them and then blow it dry with air. Uh, if I'm going to put it together right away, I'll just lay it out on a clean clean table. If not, I'll usually soak everything down with WD-40 and then put it in a big Ziploc bag so it doesn't rust because it will flash rust right away on you. So we're going to start with the crank seals. Uh, you usually the easiest, the easiest way to do is to do everything as an assembly where you just drop the whole crank in at one time and you drop the whole train in at one time. So let's go from there. Here's your uh, your primary drive gear and then here's your water pump gear. Then this seal here rides on this. And here's your keyway and your, your nut. Um, First of all, you always want to be sure you put sealant in the keyway and put some in the keyway on the uh, drive gear because when you leak it down, nine times out of ten, it's going to seep air pressure through here and you'll never find it if you have a clutch cover on it already. And you'll run around like a chicken with your head cut off. So definitely want to put sealant in there and uh, I think that's all I want to tell you for now. So let's go ahead and put it together. The seals on the crank, this is, a, this is this side, this is your stator side seal. They're both double lip seals. Uh, this one, doesn't really matter how it goes. This one here, it's got big notches on it. On this side, the notches face towards the crank, towards the bearing, like so. So what you're going to want to do is, hold on, I need to find my grease. Here we go. Okay, in between the lips of the seal, you want to pack that with grease. That way, when the engine first starts, it's going to have lubrication there and you won't burn your seals up right off the bat. Alright, so, we got the seal packed. See how everything's, how the grease is between the seals. You don't need grease on the outside or all over this side or nothing like that. Just keep it nice and neat and clean. That way, you can handle it and not grease, get grease all over your fingers and stuff like that. So, what you want to do is your water pump gear goes on like so, or your drive gear goes on like so, your notches face in. So you want to work the seal onto the gear like so. So you have that. I usually wipe off this excess because uh, whatever's excess will end up in the transmission side with the clutch. <clears throat> okay, so you have that. And then, like I said, you want to put a little bit of sealant in here. Okay, there we go. Got some on there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on it so you can see. It looks like a lot, but it's not. You don't need a whole lot in there. It's a tight, tight fit. And when you push that key in, it's all gonna ooze out. So then, you just wanna set your keyway in. Like so. And whatever oozes out, I usually take and just kinda wipe over the top and the sides. take a very little bit and put it inside the gear just like so and slide it on there sometimes they can be a little tough to slide on if the gear is new like this is a brand new gear I had to uh, kind of buff it up a little bit with some scotch bright to get it on so you got that on you can put your water pump gear on 
And if you can get a few rounds on this nut, then all you need to do is tighten this nut up some and push it the rest of the way on. You'll see here, as I snug this up, you'll see it push its way on. back this nut off so that I don't forget to tighten it and put blue Loctite on it before I put it together. So that's good to go. We'll put on our stator seal. Oh yeah, it's raining like crazy over here, so try to talk over the rain. So that's your stator seal, and let's see if I can see. See the inner lips are packed with grease. And, um, it's a double lip seal, really doesn't matter which way it goes. The way I've always installed these is, um, see how they got little rectangular markings on them? I always face those in just like the other crank bearing, the other crank seal. Don't really need any, any lube on the crank, you got plenty on the seal. Just slide it on. And uh, that's all there is to the crank seals. That's all ready to go. Just set that aside, we'll put the one on the transmission, and then we'll set the transmission and crank in the case.